You always hear successful people say, if I can do it, then you can do it. Or follow your dreams or chase your dreams. And I'm not nowhere near where I want to be, but I thank God every day I'm not where I used to be. Petty thoughts. My partners come from every walk of life to set it off the right way. Who dares to dream and annihilate the notches on your curriculum vitae? It's a curse to be this fresh and yes, I am late. I was getting dressed and I spent hours to look less than pressed. Even though I iron get it. And Lane too scared to fly be like, I don't get it. <laughs> this wasn't made for you. It wouldn't be this many dimes if I couldn't change a few. Open their minds and at times I want to save them too. But my account say that they ain't what I'm made to do. They label you a dreamer, they won't take you serious. Kirk on them jerks, Tiberius. We warriors, not warriors. I'm wary cause I'm tired of being doubted, so I shouted. But they still not hearing us. It's just my petty thoughts. Petty thoughts is like, in my, in my opinion, it's like basically, if you're crazy enough to believe that you can do something, like if you're crazy enough to believe that you can chase your dreams or you can follow your heart or whatever, cause a lot of people don't have that confidence. Yeah. This show, October 12th, Petty Thoughts, like it has to be everything that I want it to be. That's why I'm going so hard, like doing stuff that I probably would never ever do, like just experimenting with techniques and you know, I'm trying not to have like familiar faces and like all that type of stuff. I'm trying to step out of my own comfort zone and produce a major show. And with the backing that I have with all, like all y'all, my team and all that, like I feel like this gonna be like by Born Center. What about uh, Jermaine's wordplay? Like, tell us about that, the words that you put into your art. I told you, like, 90% of me, my thought process is lyrics, words, motivation. is motivational. Like, you always, and I always, I feel like I always have an appreciation, or it's always that whole thing, like, dang, I wish I could do that. That's why I like to write. Like, people don't know that, too, but I like to write. This is just a backstory. Like, one of my favorite rappers is J. Cole, and if you look at my work, everything I gotta deal with is, like, with, Hip hop. Like you coming from St. Louis, yep. from the Midwest. You know what I mean. So a lot of areas in the Midwest are, are hard. You know, yeah. St. Louis. Man, Louis. Man, you got to. Um, coming from that, how much of that is in like in your work? You know what I mean. I'm from. St. Louis, like everybody knows St. Louis to be one of the, you know, high crime cities of the world, you know, of America. And, you know, they always have these bad, you know, connotations that go with St. Louis, but it's like, I'm, I'm blessed enough to be from a family that's from the hood, but they didn't let me see that side. When I came down here, I had a, I had a mission and to be on my third show and I'm doing, my, doing it myself and how I want it. And I'm not relying on no like big name gallery. I'm not relying on no big name push or somebody that's known, quote unquote, in the art world to promote me or whatever. Like, that's a petty thought in my mind. In this show, I'm definitely willing to put myself all out there. I wanna, I wanna make it an experience, not so much as an art show. Like, like I said, we're gonna have like installations. I'm gonna try to do murals. I'm gonna try to do, you know, we got stuff like t-shirts and magazines. We, we doing it all.